by the way. No, I, we, we, all the time. Right. -o. Hey, they are smaller and they are more efficient. We know that. They're being peddled by the White House and Detroit as the next generation car for you to drive at home. The only problem is new crash tests show that size does matter when it comes to safety. On the launch pad, we're going to show you this. Uh, check it out. These crash tests pitting the newer, smaller cars up against mid sized cars by the same automakers. Each car travels at 40 miles an hour. I'll show you first now the Mercedes Benz, okay? The Mercedes Benz. Two seat smart car going against the company's C Class sedan. That's the smart car on the right. That's the C Class sedan on the left. Hold on a second. Now we're going to get to Honda. This is the next test we can show you now. Honda's fit crashing into its older, bigger brother model, the Honda Accord. There's the Accord. There's the fit. It gets high marks from the White House for fuel efficiency. Oh. It's obviously not much good. Uh, or not much use in a collision. Now, the third thing I want to show you is the Toyota Yaris, okay? Here is the Yaris, and you can see this up against the midsize Toyota Camry. Oh. Camry on the left, Yaris on the right. All three cars received oh. a poor rating, the worst rating given by the insurance agency. Again, red is the Camry that you see all over the highway today. On the right is the new smart car. Michael Caudill is the spokesman for the National Automobile Dealers Association Guide, and he's my guest today. Michael, good morning to you, and welcome back here to America's Newsroom. Good, mo good morning, Bill. Well, How what, are you I'm this morning? I'm doing fine. What should this tell consumers? Well, you know, I mean, this is a pure story of David Goliath, you know, NFL football. You got the middle linebacker at 280 pounds taking on the 190 pound quarterback. It's just a pure matter of physics. Now, of course, NHTSA comes out with these ratings every year, and there's a couple different ways to look at them. I think saying that the vehicles are not safe is, is unfair to the automakers Why because is that? they're getting hit with a, well, they're getting hit with a, a variety of different pieces of legislation to increase their MPG. I think it's by 20. 2015, we're supposed to all vehicles on the road be about 30 miles per gallon. So in order to do that, cars need to be lighter, cars need to be smaller, they need to be more fuel efficient. Traffic's heavy on the freeways. You need to find ways to, to help reduce uh, the size of a vehicle to make it lighter on okay, the road. Okay, so I, I, I understand that. Let, let me also sure. say what the car maker said. They said the tests were extreme and they simulate a type and severity of crash that is rare in real world driving. I, I, don't, I don't see those tests as being that extreme. They look like the it's, same it's, things we've seen for the past 10 years in testing. You're 100% you're correct. NHTSA's responsibility, the National Highway Tra Transport Safety Authority, is supposed to serve as a, a watchdog against. Uh, you know, these safety type things. They want to make sure people are driving safe vehicles. But at the same time, here's what I would say in regards to calling it unsafe. You know, these vehicles are on the road. They're meant to be driven. You're going to have accidents. But at the same time, 90% of these accidents that are out there on the road are really caused by driver error. Most of these are speed induced. You've got people driving in the fast lane going 75, 80 miles an hour here in Southern California. They look up, boom, they're in the back of somebody's vehicle. So yeah, you know, are Mike, they extreme? I, I, I tell you, I saw one of these smart cars in the streets of New York yesterday, and I was like, man, make sure a taxi cab doesn't take out you in that lane because it would wipe you right to the sidewalk or to the curb. Uh, as we wrap this segment up, though, when consumers see this videotape, and we'll bring on the car suppliers to come on and defend themselves, the car makers, is this bad people? You know, it's just part of the automotive process. You know, we've been hearing NHTSA ratings for a long time. It's not bad PR. It's going to be the news of today, but guess what? People still need vehicles. They're still watching their pocketbooks. If you go to NADAguides.com, you can find more information. We have all the crash test videos up there, full NHTSA ratings car reviews on all of these vehicles that we've discussed here today on the show. Okay. You can find more information out there on these vehicles, um, you're but great no, guest. it's not you a bad it. Michael, thing. come on back, okay? Michael Caudill with us today out of California today. And for more on this story, head to our website, foxnews.com slash America's Newsroom. You can post your comments and your questions there, too, and we'll have the videotape online for you as well so you can look for yourself.